for gross practical exam. If you're watching a YouTube video, make sure it's a channel that is using anatomy models because that is what you're going to see in the exam hall. Or if you're looking for a YouTube video to watch for gross practical exam, make sure they are using live cadavers like Aklan video that used live cadaver in his video. Go out for it. Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Jemima. Today we are going to be talking about tips and tricks on how to study for and how to have distinctions in practical exams. And today we are talking about gross anatomy practical exam. So I really do not know for your school, but in my school our gross practical exam is usually steeple chase. So you could be given a body or an anatomy model they usually put some tags and they will now ask you identify or they could ask what's the insertion or what is the origin of so muscle or what kind of joint is there or there are so many questions that they can ask so being able to pass gross practical exam very well is is not a walk in the park it's not as easy and straightforward as the histology and um, practical exam if you've not seen my video on how to prepare for and pass um, histology practical exam, please go and see it. I will leave the link up here. In that video, I talked about how you, you would be able to scale through histology practical exam. So today is just gross practical exam that I'm talking about. So for today, the gross practical exam, man, it's not, it's not straightforward. There's a lot of things that you need to know. But the first thing I'm going to tell you about gross practical exam is try and watch YouTube videos. If you can watch YouTube videos like one particular person I'm going to recommend, Viren Karia or something like that, I'll try and put his um, channel up here so that you would see it. So in that channel, he actually explains the bones because it's mainly bones that you would see. Not just bones per se, but you will see bones. So you need to know the different vertebrae, the, what differentiates the lumbar vertebrae from thoracic, what differentiates cervical from thoracic, the distinct features of each kind of vertebrae. And if you want to know about bones, it's not the, these pictures that you see in your textbook that you will see when you go for anatomy practical exam. It is the models, the bone models that you're going to see. So you need to watch any YouTube video that is actually using the bone model to teach you, not those that we use slides to teach you. So that's why I'm, I'm recommending this Viren Karia. I mean, carry something 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 he uses life anatomy models to teach especially osteology so you will really need that information another very useful youtube channel is achilles drill i'm going to put up his channel up here for you to see he's a nigerian as well and he talked about real simple questions that you could find in gross anatomy exam you would want to see those videos and then apart from the osteology, you need to know the muscle attachment, the innervation. Those are things that you need to know. Then organs too. In the abdomen, you will see a lot of organs. They can pin an organ and ask you, what's its embryolog uh, embryological origin? Is it endodermal? Is it ectodermal? Is it mesodermal? And sometimes they can also ask you, when does this organ start working? And they usually pin organs like heart, pin organs like lungs. Those are key organs that they like pinning and they'll ask you when do these organs start functioning so then for you need to know anterior fontanel posterior fontanel those are things that they, they will ask you they can drop a baby skull and ask and put a pin on this anterior and um, frontal fontanel and ask you what is it what, what how is the way they, they put the question like what's in, in adult life, what do this represent or what, what, is, what is it replaced by in adult life? There's a way they usually put it. That's where you now talk about the bregma, the lambda. Then, and what else can they say in gross? Then, of course, if, you can, if your school allows you to borrow the bones, by all means, please borrow those bones. Take them to your hostels, study them, have group discussions with your classmates or with your senior colleagues to show you key things in these bones because you need to get used to the different parts of the bones, the different attachments of these bones because they can just pin anything and ask you questions on that part. Then if you're also for the cadaver, obviously it's, it's, it's you can't have access to cadaver just like that. So I suggest, I strongly suggest that 
for Kadava, you can also watch YouTube video, okay? So you can also watch YouTube video for Kadava and that YouTube video, make sure that they are using live Kadava to teach you. Like Aklan's video is very important, very, very um, useful if you are going for a gross practical exam. If you've not watched Aklan's video, please go and watch it. If I can get maybe a picture of it, I will show you. Then, um, apart from Aklan's video, there are some other YouTube channels, which if I can find any other, I would put the clip up here for you. Not the clip per se, but the picture of the YouTube channel so that you would see that those channels that utilize real cadavers and real anatomy models, those are the channels that you should watch for practical exam. So you don't need any like any channel that is teaching with slides. What you need is channels that are using real cadavers and real anatomy models. So um, it's usually timed also. They can give you 50 seconds or 30 seconds or 20 seconds and you need to be quick because your brain needs to work quickly. They can pin flexor retinaculum or extensor retinaculum. You know if it's flexor retinaculum, you will see you, you know that flexor retinaculum is found on the anterior aspect of the wrist while extensor is found on the posterior aspect of the wrist so if you're confused as to if it's flexor or extensor just check out is it the dorsum of the hand that is showing on the cadaver or is it the palmar surface that is showing so with that you'll be able to know that if it's palmar surface that is showing and they pin this you know it's flexor retinaculum or if it's a dorsal surface that they that is showing and they pin this you know is ex extensor retinaculum then i mean those are just little things that is it's not easy this is the way i'm talking like i can see it easy <laughs> because don't misunderstand me it's not easy i'm not trying to say it's easy i'm just telling you things i regret not doing <laughs> in my time and the things i did that helped me so well <laughs> so group discussion for practical exams very 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 important both for histology and for gross anatomy practical exam I really don't know about your school, but for my school, gross practical exam is usually 20 marks. So you cannot afford to joke with that 20%. So like, let me repeat what I've said. So like I've said, for gross practical exam, if you're watching a YouTube video, make sure it's a, a, vid, a channel that is using anatomy models. Because that is what you're going to see in the exam hall. Or if you're looking for a YouTube video to watch for gross practical exam, make sure they are using live cadavers, like Aklan video that used live cadaver in his video. Go out for it. Make sure you, if you can borrow the bones, borrow the bones from your gross anatomy lab and go through them. I know for the anatomy models, you can, I don't think, I, I'm not really sure if your school will allow you to go with the anatomy models take out time go to the gross practical lab and study these models if your school is gracious enough to, to do revision for you like my school organized practical exam revision god god bless all those all those who brought up that idea i mean god bless you guys i mean for once the nigerian system <laughs> did something good for its students so my school organized practical exam revision for us and in that revision they told us do's and don'ts and gave us some tips and you know brought out some of these models and taught us and showed us certain things so if your school is gracious enough to organize practical exam revision for you don't miss it they will show you some of these models and then after the the, the class you can go back any question that you have ask them they won't flog you the highest they are going to do is to ignore you or snub you. But they won't flog you. So you ask questions where you don't understand. Go through this. At least try and study these models. S discuss. Go with some of your group members. Discuss the models. Discuss the thing. Oh, this, this structure. What is a function of this structure? Or what is the innovation? Or what is the drainage of this structure? Those are the questions that they will ask you. Even for bones. They can ask you on what side is this bone, especially patella. Patella does not have joy. That bone doesn't have joy at all. They will just place the patella and ask you on what side is... Okay, they will ask you to identify it first. And they will ask you on what side. What, what side is this bone found? And you seriously have to tell them that it's okay, this is the right patella or this is the left patella. You just need to get used to these things because 
they will be placed and you cannot touch them you can't take off the back patella and start wondering oh okay can i check if it's right or left they will place it there on the table and you have to use your eye and your imagination to twist it and turn it and know if it is a right or left same thing with humerus same thing with with clavicle they will just place it there and expect you to know which is right or left without touching it so you need to make use of your imagination most times and in a split second because there is no time you are given barely seconds to answer these questions if you watched this video to this point i'm really grateful thank you so much for watching this video next week i'm going to talk about practical physiology and practical biochemistry so if you're a medical student and you're watching this video please subscribe to my youtube channel every saturdays i post strictly medical school videos medical school vlogs study tips just everything medical school but for wednesdays i post everything that's outside medical school my skincare routine my hair journey my my, my emotional struggles just everything that is outside medical school so remember to give this video a thumbs up if you like it share this video with your colleagues and your classmates and come back every week there is always a new video on this channel so see you next week bye